can do some really good work when you've got into it. Well, can I say something? Yeah. I don't mean this in any disrespectful way or anything, but no. if you're putting me on these jobs that take 10 minutes to do, and I feel like that I'm capable of more than those little small jobs like that. I, I feel like that I can do the stuff that they're doing over here. I'm a real good welder, but like I said, I just haven't had the chance to do it or anything over here. And if you'll put me on something, I can prove to you that I can. I will work. And all I can really get out of it is Justin is sneaking off over to the corner and staying on his cell phone for a pretty good little while of time. And I'm saying, gee, Bob, you know, how, how are you going to get any welding done if you're on your cell phone? Oh, Mike, I promise I won't put it, I'll turn it off. And three times so far I've caught him. Are you, is your heart really in it? Do you want to be here? Oh, I do, I do. I said, well, put your cell phone on the refrigerator then. Justin told Mike, no, I have a life to live outside of the shop, and I'm trying to book a gig for my band. Nobody has ever said no in my shop. You have to honor where you're at. Pretty serious matter. I'm Excuse. telling you what I think. When I was when I was young, you were one of my role models. I came down here and I learned you were an arrogant, self-centered person, and that is what I think about you now. You were one of my role models at one time, and I come down here. It's and that's easy. All that I learned. It's easy for you to sit and say on your non-performance or non. You ain't never produced nothing in your life, but your music now. Dig on indie music and hope you, I wish I'm you well. This, shit. this week's lesson, Radical Academy. Uh, nip stupid in the bud and cream rises to the top. Boys, we've got a good crew here. And I think we just weenied out the rest of them. Coming up next week on What Would Mike Do? We've got Eric Lawson up right lane. Got a sport.